In this video, we're going to show you how to use the FTP function on your IP camera to upload snapshots to an FTP server. Logged into the camera, go into settings, and the first thing I want to do is configure my FTP server. And it's actually under storage and not network where most people would go. And go under destination, select FTP. Once you get into your FTP settings, you want to type in the IP address or the domain name of your FTP server, then the port number, the username, and the password. And then, in my case, I want to save to the directory whichever that user gets jailed into on my Linux server. So I'm putting a remote directory of a slash to just start from there. The other important thing is to hit enable and then hit save to make sure it saves that. It's always a good idea to hit refresh to make sure your settings have been saved. And you can test uh, as well. And you should see an FTP server test success. Now once you have successfully tested your FTP, the next thing is to go into a schedule. Go into snapshot and set your camera to a either continuous or motion detection schedule. I'm just redoing a continuous schedule on my camera and save. Then under destination, go under path and make sure the event type is FTP schedules checked, motion detection is checked and here as well, just like so. Then to set a camera to record video to snapshot, you have to go under camera, video, snapshot and then specify the resolution of the snapshot. In this case, it's going to be the same as the mainstream here. And then the quality level. And how often do you want it? Every one second, seven seconds, five seconds, or any number from one to 50,000 seconds. I want one every 30 seconds. Hit save. Now once that's done, if you go to your FTP server, you'll find your camera recording snapshots. Here is my FTP server. In my case, it is recording images to this folder. And every so often, it's saving a new image. I'm going to go back and change the interval that the camera is saving at. Set it as 5 seconds. Here you see new files being written every five seconds. There's another one here. And then here's another one here. So this is a real time live view of how images are being written onto the FTP server. And that's it. You can then save these images and keep them on your FTP or create a script to delete them as you need. Thanks for watching.